AutoCAD 2014 includes a variety of enhancements to help you draw and annotate with more efficiency. For example, now when drawing an arc in AutoCAD, you're not limited to drawing counterclockwise. Here I'll go ahead and choose one of the arc options to specify a start point and a center. The default behavior forever in AutoCAD has been to draw counterclockwise. Now, by simply just pressing the control key, I can very easily draw the other direction. Filleting polylines has also been enhanced in AutoCAD 2014. Here I have a polyline, an open polyline, and now using the fillet tool, I can select either side of the polyline and it will automatically fillet it, creating a closed polyline. That's something you couldn't do before. AutoCAD would actually give you an error if you selected the same polyline for both sides of the fillet. Sheet set behavior has been updated a little bit so that when you create a new sheet based off of a template file, the create date field displays the creation date of the new sheet rather than the creation date of the template file. The convert P styles command enables you to convert the current drawing to either named or color dependent plot styles. In AutoCAD 2014, it's enhanced to support style names with spaces. Inserting blocks with attributes is more streamlined in AutoCAD 2014. Now when you insert a block that contains attributes, the Edit Attributes dialog box is automatically displayed, so you can enter information there as opposed to at the command line. It's controlled by the atDIA system variable, so you can set it back to zero if you want the previous behavior. Single line text is also more efficient in AutoCAD 2014. Now when you use single line text, and specify a justification, for example, here I'll choose middle center, it maintains that justification for subsequent entries of text so that next time you come back and use the command, it still has that same justification. Hatching has been streamlined in a similar way. Now in AutoCAD 2014, when you create a hatch and select the method of creation, whether it's pick points or select objects, I'll go ahead and use Select Objects to pick this hatch right here. The next time you create a hatch, it will remember how you created it last time so that you don't have to specify again. And also, continuous and baseline dimensions have been streamlined in AutoCAD 2014. In previous releases of AutoCAD, if you had an existing dimension and you wanted to create a continuous or baseline dimension from it, AutoCAD would automatically use whatever your existing dimension style is. For example, let's just go up here and we're going to create a new dimension style based on one that's existing, but we'll just make something kind of dramatically different here. Change the color and maybe the text height so that it's a noticeable change. And I'll set that new dimension style current. So in previous releases of AutoCAD, there was no dim continue mode variable, which is, this is new in AutoCAD 2014. So I'll use dim continue mode and I'll set it to zero, which is how the behavior was prior to AutoCAD 2014. If you then create a baseline or continuous dimension using an existing dimension, which I'll do here, AutoCAD automatically uses the current dimension style. So that's really not what you want. Typically, if you're going to create a continuous or baseline dimension, you want it to look like the existing dimension. So I'll go ahead and erase that and we'll set the new variable dim continue mode back to its default, which is one. So the behavior in AutoCAD 2014 is that you create either a continuous or baseline dimension by selecting an existing dimension and AutoCAD, regardless of what the current dimension style is, it will automatically use the same uh, dimension properties as the one that you selected. So again, just streamlined functionality for drawing and annotation tools that you use frequently.